Hi, today I'm going to talk about a tool called uh, Google Analytics URL Builder, uh, which is a nice technique, and I'm going to show you a tool for it. A nice technique to identify and manage a, uh, a much more specific traffic sources to your website according to your uh, marketing efforts. So uh, look at this table. Uh, look at it it's a, as a final result of our efforts. So we all want to see all these traffic sources. Le let's say um, uh, the Twitter account of the CEOs, the company's official Twitter, newspaper that we created for clients, maybe suppliers, traffic that uh, coming to a website even from our uh, email signature uh, on my Facebook wall, Facebook group, LinkedIn groups, QR codes, whatever. We put links to our products, events, webinars, posts, uh, services, website, uh, all over the web and um, and we need to compare them. We need to know exactly how many visits each um, uh, each uh, marketing channel attracts. We need to know what their bounce rate is, what's the time on site, what is the conversion rate, uh, who's using mobile and who's not. So Google Analytics is a great tool, but we need to help him identify um, these links. Uh, another problem is that um, if you work in social networks, uh, Google Analytics doesn't know the difference between your Facebook wall and Facebook group, for example. It treats them as Facebook traffic, uh, same as for Twitter or LinkedIn and uh, most of other um, uh, social platforms. So this technique that I'm going to show you is going to solve two problems. Uh, the first is marketing channels and the second is the walled gardens of the social networks. Um, but you have a bonus. You know Google Analytics uh, has this uh, report called direct traffic. Probably, uh, basically direct traffic, it's uh, traffic that Google Analytics does not know uh, how to deal with. It's not uh, just a referring website and it's not a search engine, it's, it's maybe some other traffic, like uh, traffic that's coming to a website from your email signature, for example, or QR codes. So if you are going to use the technique that I'm going to show you, you're going to decrease decrease the the direct graph the numbers are gonna drop down very fast and you're gonna see all these traffic sources in a new report called campaign uh, the campaign report is uh, in a traffic source uh, section in google analytics so uh, without further uh, blah blah let's say uh, let's dive in and uh, i'll show you how to do it so i'm a um, I'm using Chrome uh, right now and uh, we developed an extension which uh, made our life much easier. Uh, look for the extension called Google Analytics URL Builder and uh, when you find it you're gonna see a link to it in the YouTube video. This video you're gonna see it in the description um, and when you find it you're gonna see a button that says add to Chrome. Just click it and then you're gonna see a shopping cart on the top right of the screen. Now let's say that I want to promote uh, one of my websites or one of my last uh, my last posts, for example. So uh, you see this post. Uh, I want to promote it on my LinkedIn page. So I click this uh, shopping cart, and as you can see, it takes my current URL automatically. And then I have to fill this form. So where I'm going to put this link? What's the source? I say okay, the source is sorry. The source is LinkedIn. I'm going to drive traffic from LinkedIn because I'm going to put it on my wall. So what's the medium? Where inside LinkedIn you're going to put it? I'm going to put it on my wall. Let's use uh, uppercase because it's case sensitive if we want to create a standard. Um, and then the last field is the name. It's like what you want to promote. I want to promote m my post. May you can write it a webinar, event, I don't know. And then you're going to see here a very long URL that this URL you're going to take you have you can double click and copy paste but you can just click here go to I can go to my uh, LinkedIn wall attach a link add URL and you can see uh, LinkedIn read all these long parameters and I click the attach and then you can see that LinkedIn uh, takes a, a clean nice URL with description the user that's gonna the, they're gonna click it does not know all these uh, parameters that you add it's uh, they don't see it's a, um, it's an ugly URL and then you're gonna see in the campaigns report I'm gonna see exactly if my uh, LinkedIn wall is working if someone reads uh, my uh, my statuses so let's do it again 
Now I'm going to put this link uh, on LinkedIn uh, on companies page. So same here. I'm going to see her companies page maybe. I'm going to post. Now let's say that I'm running two companies. For example, maybe for exa other example, I'm going to put it on two LinkedIn groups that I want to promote my post. One of them is SEO pros. And then I take this link and I'm going to publish it in the S uh, in the SEO pro group on LinkedIn. After several minutes, uh, I'm going to publish the same post on the Google Analytics group in LinkedIn. And each time I'm going to get I'm going to get a different URL and going to paste it on the specific platform that I just configured. This what makes um, your that's what uh, enables you to control this traffic that you're gonna get you're gonna get you can measure and you can compare which is uh, much more uh, uh, it, this is the smart way to do things so it seems like a tedious job you know to fill all this form again and again so we made these quick sets that we can use let's say I'm gonna put this link on my Facebook private wall and I choose one of these quick sets and then you can see uh, the field is autocomplete and then I just uh, click the copy to clipboard and then you're gonna paste it on my uh, my my Facebook wall, Jack's wall, whatever. If you want to create your own special uh, sets uh, just click the edit list and you here you can see this table you can uh, click the X to delete the line or double click to edit and you can add another one. So let's say I have a QR code um that I'm gonna use on newspapers for example and um I'm gonna put this on a magazine called uh, uh security pro and I'm gonna promote the product that I'm just um I just want to promote it and the term let's say uh January twelve for example because um, I have an ad with the QR code and I put this ad on the January 12 issue of the uh, magazine called Security Pro. And again, I can do the same thing. And I'm going to choose a different magazine and I'm going to publish a different, um, maybe the same product, but the, di the different QR code in order to know exactly which magazine drives a better traffic. So you can create your own sets, delete and edit them, and then you can see these sets right here in front of you, you can use them. And uh, if you want, um, if you use Twitter a lot and you want uh, these long URLs, uh, you don't like them, so uh, you might consider using uh, bit.ly URLs. And, um, and you can do it also in the configuration file you can you have here this bitly configuration all you have to do is write down your bitly username and bitly api key um you don't suppose uh, i don't think that you need to know what is an api key but just click here make sure you're logged into your bitly account and you're going to see this uh, account settings just scroll down a bit and you're going to see a long number over here just copy paste it to here and then um, when you use this extension, this, uh, this cell here is going to contain a bit.ly uh, URL that you can use on Twitter, for example, or if you want to use bit.ly anytime to use this tool. Um, so this is basically what the tool does. It takes the URL, you can add manually uh, fields, you can create a pre-configured quick sets, or you might want to use um, uh, your bit.ly um, uh, bitly URLs. If you have uh, any suggestions for this extension, you want to to share some ideas with us, um, it would be great. Just copy and uh, copy this uh, URL to your browser, and uh, we can also uh, would like to get some likes and Google Pluses and tweets. And uh, we have our mail over there. You can send your comments. And if you want to improve this, um, we might consider this is also th this is the third edition of the of the extension, and we are looking for more. So, uh, good luck with this extension. Good luck with your marketing efforts, and um, and thank you very much for your time.